Hey everybody, John here from Encomesh.com, and in today's video, you're going to discover seven unique ways to show your checkout form using Thrivecart that can lead to more sales and more income over time. And there's two of them in particular that I'm really proud of thinking of and setting up and showing you. I think you're really going to like to see, so stick around to the end to see all seven of them. But before we dive into it, a little bit about me, my wife and I, we've been selling online for about four or five years at this point. We've done well over a million dollars. I'm pretty much retired from my corporate gig and I get to make fun YouTube videos like this for you guys and just live a wonderful life. So if you're interested in getting started online, the shopping cart platform you choose is extremely important from a tech perspective, reliability, and ultimately being able to sell and convert your online courses and offers. So Thrivecart is one of the best I've ever used. There's a link down below if you're interested. Let's go ahead and dive in to the first way that you can sell with Thrivecart now. All right, so the first way we can sell is just using Thrivecart's built-in checkout to build out our entire sales page. And this is, you know, these aren't very beautiful, like I could spend a lot more time on them, but I wanted to show you the idea here. So this is directly coming from Thrivecart, and with their new update that just came out, you have the ability to bring in an entire page builder experience, bringing in bullet points, embedding videos, all different ways of you to customize the appearance, the look, the design of your checkout page, to turn it into an entire long form sales letter. So I've seen these get extremely long and complex. And what's beautiful about it is it's very easy to do in Thrivecart and it's very easy to test. You, as you scroll down the letter, you get right in in a nice flowing way. Everything fits, the design works, and it goes straight into the checkout process where you can check out, put your credit card in and go. All right, number two here is using your own page builder, however you like to use it, or if you already have one that's working really well, this is a way to even increase the conversions further, and this is to actually use the embedded feature of Thrivecart directly into your own design. So we're doing kind of the same thing here, where we'll have this long scrolling uh, sales message. The difference here, I'm actually using Thrive Architect in this example sales page, and as you scroll down, you're just really getting into the idea, you really like the, the product, you're ready to go, and as you get towards the bottom of the page, boom, right there, you can make this a little more obvious, maybe you have a big buy now button up top, but you have your checkout information embedded directly into your landing page. This is helpful for a number of reasons. For one, every time you have to click and wait for something to load, there's a chance of something not loading correctly. There's a chance of something distracting the person while they're waiting for the page to load. Now, the Thrivecart checkout pages load incredibly fast, which I'll show you in a second, but even so, having it all on one page gives some simplicity to you, also some simplicity to your purchasers, because if they're ever confused about something on the offer, to get to the FAQs, all they do is scroll down a little bit. Or if they are curious about your warranty, you know, satisfaction guarantee, they can find that information somewhere else. So that's a really cool embed feature if you still like to use your own page builder functionality. All right, number three is if you're selling physical products, think about selling books for a free plus shipping offer or something like that. When you want to have a lot of fields, like the shipping fields, the billing fields, all this different information, the two-step checkout is really awesome. So here's an example from the same page. I put in a little button here. You click this button. It goes straight to your checkout form field. And what's beautiful about this is that while we're actually collecting a lot of information, the reader never sees the overwhelming amount of fields until it's they're already kind of committed. So let's walk through this here. So if I put my email address in, it puts my name and uh, first and last name in. This is optional. I decided to show it just in case. They've got the bump offer bump offer option at any given time. And you'll also see over here we have shipping already added into our order. These are all things that are super easy to set up in the Thrivecart wizard. So if I like this, I click OK. Ugh, now I get to the shipping information. This is kind of the evils of physical products, right? Like there's just a lot of stuff to fill out for a physical shipping address. Here's the beauty. By using the multi-step checkout form like we're using here, if the person decides to abandon cart, if they click that X button and they go away, what happens is you can set up automatic automations using Thrivecart's built-in integration with all these email marketing platforms to say, hey, I know that this person left without filling out their shipping information. From there, you can wait an hour, wait two hours or something like that, and then start shooting off a series of emails trying to recover that abandoned cart. Because this is a two-step process, you have a greater likelihood of at least getting them through step one to eventually get them through step two and through step three as well with the payment, etc. So I love the two-step opt-in option. All right, sticking with our embed options, the next one I wanna show you is kind of what I like to call the one-time offer layout. And this is a layout that I have seen on a lot of different sales pages. I've 
heard lectures. I haven't actually run this one myself because I don't really do the free plus shipping model. Anyways, um, where you have this layout where you have the headline, a video explaining the offer, and directly next to it, you have the checkout form. Now the page can continue, continue to scroll down like this one does here. However, the big key here is to let them go ahead and fill it out right then and there. This is also using that multi-step embedded option where they click OK. And now if they were to abandon cart, you can still launch that automation at this point. So this is a really nice one. They're all kind of similar when you get into the embed world, but the different layouts you can do with Thrivecart make it extremely attractive. And also I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page here to show you how quickly that embed loads up. So I hit refresh, it's here, and then boom, the page loads pretty much instantly, maybe a half a second after the rest of the video. So it's gonna be a really good converter for you. All right, for the next one on the list here, I created a kind of a sample resources page where I'll actually give you three examples from this one page. So the first one here, you can have, I'm using Thrive Leads in this example, a little slide in that kind of inconspicuously pops up here on the side. It says, hey, do you wanna try the ebook out for only $1.99? If you already know what that offer is, you might take us up on it. So you say, sure. And this can open directly another state directly in Thrive Leads where they can go directly to the checkout form with, without ever leaving your website. It loads only when they click that yes, I'm in button. So a lot of your optimization is still fantastic. That HTML never loads, getting too geeky here. Long story short, this is a cool one because you can put this wherever slide-ins can work in your website. So if you're using Thrive Leads, you can have this at the bottom of a blog post or maybe after a few minutes of inactivity. And I'll show you another example in a second. So this is a pretty cool one. They go through, they say, sure. They can still scroll down and they still have full functionality with the web page. So they can kind of do this as they're working on something else. Probably not the best if they're distracted, but being able to kind of reduce any of that friction, you're never even leaving the page to go and buy something. So this is one of my personal favorites. All right, next one on the list, we're, we're gonna just stick on this page for a second. Here I have a button as well. Imagine this is like a resources page where instead of recommending affiliate offers or things like that, you're actually offering your own products. Now you could click this and go directly to a checkout page. You've already seen an example of that. But what's also cool is I can click this button and it can pop up its own little light box where the entire checkout form actually shows up directly here on the page. Let me go ahead and um, let me refresh this page so it doesn't look quite so busy. So I'm gonna hit refresh here and I'll go ahead and click on the buy now button and you'll see how it loads up a little bit. It's doing all the cart information and boom, I can go ahead and put my information in, et cetera, et cetera. I'm using the same product in all these examples just to give you an idea, but then you can rock and roll and make your purchases and do what you need to do. So this is a really cool one because it bakes in the button on your page and it's something you can put anywhere and sell any product from any link on your page. It's pretty cool. You don't need like a special funnel page or a special starter page to lead into it. It can be embedded anywhere on your site. All right, so that was number six. So the last one is number seven. We're also gonna use this page as the example. And this is actually a exit intent, kind of like save the sale opportunity. This would be great on sales pages themselves. But here I just have on this little generic resources page, as I leave the page, boom, I get hit with the offer for a discount on my product. And here I can say, oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. I'll click on get your discount and it can take me directly over. In this example, I'm using the one step checkout just because I haven't used it yet. And the design here is hideous. I just want to throw a few things together to show you what you could do. But here, if they don't know what the offer actually is, you could include some of that full sales terminology up here at the top and really show them what's going on with this product and then lead into the contact and the payment information here. So you can see all this is on one page. They can scroll down, take you up on the bump or not, put their information in and go. So that was kind of a quick rapid fire, seven ways you can use the new Thrive Cart. Now I say new because this entire update where you can do all this customization, all the button configuration, everything you can do just came out over the last 24 hours or so. It's a really exciting new time for sales funnel builders because up until this point, the tools available have either been extremely expensive or extremely complicated. And Thrivecart has kind of found a nice little sweet niche in this whole world where it's drop dead simple. I made seven products in the matter of maybe 10, 15 minutes in preparation for this video. Not only that, but I have the full drag and drop capability to make a full sales page directly there on my checkout cart. These are some really fun times if you're into digital marketing. And if you haven't checked out Thrivecart yet, I'd urge you to go ahead and check it out. There's a link down below. I also have a series of bonuses that I'm gonna give away with Thrivecart 
drive cart if you decide to use my affiliate link and support my YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. And I'll tell you all about those bonuses down below as well. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. I hope you enjoyed these. What about you? Have you thought about any unique ways of using some of these new Thrivecart functionalities in your own business? Go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you have been doing recently and what you think is really awesome about the new uh, functionality. And be sure to subscribe and like this channel in case you want to get more videos like this in the near future. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. Have a great day.